Hello everyone and welcome to this month's Creative Arts Collaboration. This month's theme is going to be animals. I wanted to give you guys a good look at the items that inspired me for the Creative Artist Collaboration during this month of August. Like I said last month during the Love Summer Art hashtag event, we would be back every month. So this month we are back with a new theme. And these are the items that inspired me for my project. And I wanted to show them to you. This ribbon here. Look how beautiful that is. This ribbon. This piece of Prima a prima flower and then something I got in the mail from a lady all of these pieces inspired me for my theme that I'm doing look at that so I'm gonna use this inspiration go with it and see what I come up with Now that we're speaking on the topic of inspiration, we have the blank canvas. And I like to sometimes use the Frederick's canvases. They're inexpensive. You can get a whole bunch for next to nothing. They're good and sturdy. And you can collage on them. And they'll take the beading. And back to the inspiration. When I hit the blank canvas and I look at my pieces sometimes inspiration comes when I actually just start painting and the inspiration will actually present itself during the process itself of creating a lot of times I'll think of paintings going in one direction and it ends up totally turning into something different so that's what I mean when I say that the inspiration comes from the process itself. As you can see, I am starting to sketch with a sketch and wash pencil the animal that I was inspired to create from all the items that I just showed you. And if there's any mistakes, I can just wash away the lines and just keep going. Here I'm just starting to play and put down some things that I might want to use. I'm not really sure exactly which products I want to use, so I just keep playing until I get the look I want. I'm starting to lay down Neo Color Watercolor 2s, and I'm just starting the actual layer upon layer. I start applying some gesso for the wings to kind of get a feel for where I want to go. Now I'm starting more in-depth shading with the water-based twin tip aqua markers by Letraset. And I keep going back and forth between the Letraset markers and the Neocolor 2s as well as white acrylic paint trying to build layer upon layer for the peacock to give it some depth.
here I'm actually going in with white acrylic paint and starting to build the wing design. Starting on the sides first, then I'm going in the middle and also building up the feathers in the middle of the peacock with white acrylic paint. Now I'm going in with some sparkling H2O's and using different colors on the peacock's feathers and the actual neck area to start building some interest in the piece. Now I thought it was time to work on the background so I am using the Tim Holtz Distress Stain over some gesso markings that I had placed in the piece earlier to make it look like there's clouds in the background to give it sort of a resist effect. Now I'm going in with the Faber-Castell pit pen in the color sepia and I'm adding a little design and outlining the feathers a little bit. Here I decided to go in with a little more Tim Holtz Distress Stain, a different color to kind of give it some interest. It was looking a little bit too much the same, so I wanted to go in and add a little different color in the background. Now I'm going and using a circle to create the plume on the top of the head, which to me makes the peacock very interesting is that little crown on top of the head. So I'm going in with my charcoal pencil and then I'm erasing the lines in between and starting to design the plume on top of the peacock's head.
Now I'm actually looking at the rest of the peacock, what we refer to as the main tail section or the beautiful fan. And I took the pieces of ribbon that I showed you guys at the beginning and I cut strips from it and fussy cut actually the peacock looking ones out of that particular ribbon strip. Now I'm trying to figure out how I would like to design the rest of the tail using these pieces. Now I'm gluing down the strips of ribbon with Fabrifix alcohol-based glue. It's fast drying and quick. If you liked today's video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.